Tim Smith in the last day when people were killing like they're killing. The Bible said the young ones the young ones are turning against their mom and daddy. They said what it said. Turn against their parents. The more they were doing. But there's one thing about it. There's a judgment day. And everybody understands. I told a guy the other day, I said, uh, you need to worry about me, you better worry about yourself, or you're going to stand for you, not me. Amen. You can say what you want to, you ain't. Uh, they, uh, uh, we are talking to my wife was today, and the Lord just brings the scripture to my mind, and every time I get to talking about something, she said, imagine something that we're not supposed to judge nobody. But you know what? You need to read that Bible just a little deeper. He said you can judge a tree by the fruit it bears. Is that book, man? And I'm not judging them according to me. I see the way that they do God and the way they live. And they ain't got no... It's a pear tree with, straw, with uh, blackberries on it. The right kind of fruit, is it, Lucy? It's got to be the right kind of fruit to grow on it. And if there's anything in my life that you see that ain't like it ought to be, come on up here and we'll pray and ask God to move it. Amen. I'm, uh, I'm in a holler, what do you call it, apologetic way. I apologize to God and everybody else because I'm going to make heaven my home. And I don't understand last things like for the last two weeks that I've dreamed about having good services here, and we have. And I uh, dreamed about uh, the night about the judgment that God was going up to face him. Right. And Brother Doug, all through what I've seen, all I need to worry about is getting closer. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Right. Isaiah chapter 58. Now listen to what the Bible tells us. He said to cry aloud. Fire not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. Amen. <laughs> I don't care what the world thinks about me. I ain't serving the world. But I will tell you this. We need to cry aloud in Burke County. We need to cry aloud in Caldwell County. Amen. And we need to cry aloud everywhere we go. Why don't you get right with God? Jesus is coming. Amen. Quit your sinning. Tell them to not sin no more. Amen. Amen. Well, preacher, uh, if you don't tell people about their sins, you're sinning. Testify to them. And he said, cry aloud, spare not. Don't, don't uh, well, I'm afraid I might hurt my friend's feelings. You know what? I'd rather hurt your feelings tonight if that's what it takes. And see you go to heaven. If not hurt them and see you die and go to hell. Now I'm talking about if you've hurt your feelings it might be something about hell that you don't like what I preach. But hell is just as real as heaven is. Amen. And the devil is just as got as much spirit behind him he's the next part of God. Amen. Amen. But he told us, he said, he's talking about your talk to this, a description of true religion. Now, I'll tell you something. I don't have religion. i got salvation. Amen. Amen. Religion is like a rocking chair. It quits rocking, it quits ro uh, it falls over. Amen. But the Bible, I was talking to my son-in-law, Ricky, which I wanted done the church for us and all. And I think he done a good job. And uh, talking to him today, and he's talking about his daughter, and I said, I don't understand why, Ricky, that they bring this up at the birthday party we had sometime back. And when that little boy is born, we're a Christian. You can't be a Christian and live together and not be married. I don't care what you think about it. Take it home when you're at home. God didn't say that. Shack up with everything coming and going. Amen. 
and having young ones. Got two or three young ones with every different man. Amen. I'm just going to preach it. I cry loud, spare not. I'm telling you transgression, your sins. He said, well, what do you do about it? I said, do like I do. I don't let them sleep in my house. Not married. Come on. Amen. Philip, you can believe that or not. I had a granddaughter come through with the fellow several years ago, and I, uh, I told my you ain't staying here. Well, what's wrong with that? I said, because you ain't married to her. So Louise, I'd go out there and pack him some banana sandwiches, bologna sandwiches, put some drinks in that cooler, here's the money, go to the store to get them, and hit the road, Jack. Come on now, amen. The Bible says, if I, I'm a preacher, now where people believe it or not, I'm God's man. And a deacon is supposed to be God's man. And if we can't rule our own house, we ain't fit to come up here and tell you how to live. <laughs> Amen. That's good, Brother Tim. That's a, that's a true gospel name, son. Amen. Amen. So now, whether you believe it or not, you follow me and you'll find out I'll go along with John. Amen. Brother Ben, people ought to live right, walk right. Amen. Well, we got to we got to live together and try one another out. Well, Lord, how much who wants you after you wore out? Come on, <laughs> Come on now. Wow. Yet they seek me daily and delight to know my way in a ways as a nation that did righteousness and forsook the ordinance of their God. They ask for the ordinance of justice. They take delight in approaching to God. That, you know, those people today, it, it, it just counts it a big delight to throw up on God. Come on, I'll tell you something now. If it wasn't for God, this world would have done something. It's God. It's God all the way. Amen. I'm talking about uh, not religion. I'm talking about old time heartfelt, heaven born salvation comes through the blood of Jesus. Thank God that hung on Calvary. Come down to the foot of the cross. Say it's finished. For every man that will believe in me and trust in me, it's real today. You can have it if you'll just believe in me. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Wow. He said, now I want you to cry aloud. I'm going to cry loud. Somebody said, Preacher, you holler too loud. Well, you know what? This whispering don't get you nowhere. you got to wake somebody up. Uh, amen. amen. I'm going to say this, and I ain't going to mention nobody's name. I'm just going to mention if a person's a diabetic, and you've lived with them, and they take shots every day, and they have all this wrong with them, they can't help it. It's just their body, like Rita said, breaking down. And... When they get out of it, you don't know nobody. You have to holler at them to get their attention. Amen. I've been accused of being mean to Louise because when she had her trouble with that, and I'd holler, open your mouth, I'm going to smack your head off, and she'd open, oh, that poor arms you sent. <laughs> so when I get up, and I didn't do it that way to hurt her, and I didn't do it because I hated her. Bye. Amen. Bye. Donna found out here a while back when she had spells come down at 2 o'clock in the morning. I said, Donna, you claim your daddy's to me. Set her all night, but you better tell her to open my mouth in the right kind of way. You know, like some Christians that don't ever hear nothing unless you holler real good. Amen. Hey, I'm talking about, wake me up. Thank <laughs> God, amen. I want to be awake when the Holy amen. Ghost of God and comes through. Amen. Praise God, I feel good tonight. Amen. Oh. Yeah. Hey, they know that. You know what? That's, now listen to me. I, if I preach anything but the Bible ain't you call me down, my friend. But over there in the, was it Romans, where the men and the women uh, uh, went about to establish their own righteousness, they wouldn't, when they knew God and His righteousness, they worshipped Him not as God, but went about to establish their own right religious ways, and He went and turned them over to a reprobate mind to believe a lie and be damned. Oh. Boys, if you want to, you know what, I, I think of Brother Tig. Today, now, I, I was up there talking to Ricky, and I said, Ricky, let me tell you something. I love you, son. But glory to God, be ready to go when Jesus comes, because if you don't go to heaven, you're going to hell. Amen. Well, you're in the tell them that. Yes, sir, tell them that. Yeah. Amen. They need waking up. But he said, cry aloud, spare not. Amen. Thank God I'm glad. Like a preacher down yonder went to Louise and some of her uh, family's funeral one time, this preacher come up and he said, 
you know, preacher Michael, I've known you a long time, but I just can't get up and talk to people like you do. I said, that ain't my fault. Wow. Anybody in this church tonight that loves God loves my style of preaching. Amen. It's plain. It's pure. It's straight. And it ain't Harold Michaels. It's the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Thank God, Harold, it'll make you want to do the Jubilee. Amen. Well, glory. Do you ever read, now listen, do you ever read about the day, the month, and the hour of the Jubilee, the great Jubilee it's going to be? It's over in about Exodus, ain't it? Answer Summers in that section. Numbers. Thank you, brother. Numbers about the day and the hour and all of the Jubilee. When we get to meet our loved ones and read after this life's over and get to heaven, my Lord God and Miss Lucy, your mama and your sister and all of them, you talk about a Jubilee. Woo! Glory to God. You talk about uh, uh, Brother Philip uh, having a time. Amen. Run up and down the streets of glory of praising God, Brother Stephen, and saying, I know that I know that I know that I'm here because I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb, been sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and redeemed by the precious power of God. Amen. 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 That's enough to make anybody want to shout. Wherefore have we fasted? Wherefore have we fasted? Say they. And thou seest not. Wherefore have we afflicted our soul, and thou takest no knowledge? Behold, in the day of your fast, you find pleasure and exact all, exact all your labors. Let me tell you something. <coughs> when you fast, you ain't supposed to tell nobody. <laughs> If I read my Bible right now, I've read it for 50 years, and I've read it pretty good. Not to let your right hand know what you left in there. Amen. And if you brag about it, you've done received your reward. Am I right, Miss David Board? Amen. You've done received your blessing because you already bragged about it. Sometimes we all, and I've been the same thing, run our mouth and tell somebody God didn't want to call. Amen. Well, what was it, preacher? Sometimes when we help somebody, we're supposed to leave it to God and let Him do the blessing. Amen. 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 I'm just Amen. telling you, I've, I've been chewed out more than one time, but my wife, and I appreciate that, it's a hard chewing, but whew, you learn from it. Amen. Get, you get chewed out real good. Amen. Well, you ain't supposed to tell that. You'll keep your mouth shut. It makes you mad, but as you get over your mouth spell, you find out they ain't right, and you just have to be glad. <laughs> Well, praise the Lord. If I ask, you know what? A boy one time, I want to say a boy, the director of furniture said he was fasting. He said, I haven't eaten a bite of dinner and told him how long. He said, I, I take the dinner time and fast. And this boy had power of God. But one day, my fault, and I had to apologize. He was staying over at his table, and I had a couple big red apples laying there. And I pitched one over, and I said, Here, brother, it's about dinner time, have one of these. And he broke his vow because of me. We're going to tempt people like that. Come on now, I tempted him. I, I just tell you the truth. I tempted him, and it was wrong. And I apologized to him. Well, he said, I never thought another bag, but said, I, That apple looks good. I just went ahead and eat it. You know what? You'll get in trouble sometimes of thinking something that's real good and easy. Wanda Presswood used to come here and lead the choir. She couldn't eat fish. She was allergic to them. One evening they sent out to get her and her brother, brother I believe lived with them, and youngins and her husband, all a fish plate. Come back, she said, it smells so good and I was hungry. She just turned around and ate a plate of it. And wound up in Valdez Hospital. Well, I went over there. It's funny how at, at, at some of these hospital nurses and all I do things. And he come down. I was there about dinner time, Brother Harold. And here comes the nurse in with her <laughs> plate with a fish sandwich and french fries. She said, well, that's why I'm in here. That nurse said, oh, I'm sorry. I picked up the wrong tray. Preacher, have you had dinner? I said, no, but I'll get something up the road. No, please. 
where they will jump all over me and eat this one. <laughs> you can have it. I said, yeah, I can eat fish. And about as good old square fish is about as good as I've ever had. And I eat that fish and taters and drunk or drink and they got her something else. But what I'm saying is, this right here, look at it real good. This, if you got one of them, a body, you're the temple of God. Amen. And if we do anything to harm or destroy this temple, we're sinning. Come on now, amen. Well, preacher, we do this, this, that, and that. Uh, I was thinking some. I ain't going to say what I feel with my medicine here for about a year. And boy, I mean, I had diarrhea morning, noon, and night for a year. I guess that's where I'm away from. And I got the hurting so bad and everything, and dizzy up here when I get to preach, I couldn't hardly stand up. God said, throw him pills away. And I threw that bottle of pills away over a year ago, and I've not had a dizzy spell, not had no more diarrhea through the night and all day long. God will warn you. Take care of yourself, amen. Come on, amen. Well, how many of you, if, you, if he tells you you can't drink a Diet Coke, would you go ahead and drink? We're doing it to ourselves, though. Instead of God. But it says, cry out and tell people, obey God, listen to Him, trust in Him, follow Him, lean on His shoulder. Amen. Well, the Bible said, where did I get to? Verse 4. Behold, ye fast for strife and debate and to smite with the first of wickedness. Ye shall not fast as ye do this day. To take your voice to be heard on high. You ever heard people, now listen, I know some preachers that I've known. I ain't going to just say I've known some preachers, and I've known some people. And when you ask them to lead in prayer, and somebody else to end the prayer, they'll pray all through the first top, pop in, and just keep praying to be heard of men. But I'm not up here tonight to just be heard of man. I'm up here tonight to warn the church. Let's get ready to meet him because he's coming. Amen. Praise God, he'll be here. You say, preacher, when's he coming? Well, the Bible said that no man knows the day nor the hour right. when he's coming. But you want me to tell you something? He's coming. Right. Somebody said, well, mama or grandma died. This lady this year... Didn't you have somebody down here one back April? God come April. You might you might not get home tonight. The Lord might just cut your heart off and take you. I want you to pray for his family down in Winston. Who was it? Betty was it Betty tell me about that? And uh, somebody told us a while ago, how you did, about your body's breaking down and and uh, they need prayer. Now I'll tell you something, you're not gonna live I ain't going to say you ain't going to live forever, but you've been born again, you are. Amen. But you ain't going to live forever here on earth. Amen. Amen. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. Who was there being you saw the other day? 92 year old. They told us that. 92 year old. Still staying at home. Still be able to get around. Drive his car. Boy, he said, in heaven, sakes alive, I feel like a young man. <laughs> Amen. But if you love, listen, if you love, the, the Bible said it was God's good pleasure that his children be in good health. Amen. Might not say it don't work, but it means it don't, about, about the same difference. But the Bible said in verse 5, it is such as fast that I have chosen a day for a man to afflict his soul and if it to bow down his head as a and no spread sackcloth and ashes under him, will thou call this a fast, an acceptable day of the Lord? Wasn't it like back in the old days that they sit out sackcloth and ashes? And, uh, all that was under the law. Now, 
all we have to do is come by grace through faith. That not to say that our boast any man should boast, but it's the power of God for salvation to everybody that believes. Amen. Well, preacher, I just don't believe the Bible like uh, this and that and other. Well, I'm telling you something. I believe every word of it. I think Jesus came all the way from heaven. And you know those people today, they're even over here, they're now over yonder in that country where they're having trouble. They don't believe Jesus ever existed. Boys, I'm going to tell you right now, he exists. He's here tonight. Yeah. Amen. Man, I know he's here. I feel him. Yeah. <laughs> well, glory to God. And he said in verse 7, is not to deal thy bread to the hunger, and thou bring the poor that are uh, cast out of thy house when thou set seest thy naked, and thou cover him, and that thou hide not himself from thine own flesh. I told my wife the other day and I went over to the school to pick up Melinda. All them young gals come out of there in tank tops and little shorts. And now about half school sick. I'm going to tell you something. You ought to learn when you can dress and when you can't dress. What you ought to wear and what you not ought to wear. Somebody asked me about Women, you know, and I, she does all these things, you know, all this lady that and does all these things. I said, I don't know, I call them she he. They ain't never figured out whether they're a man or a woman. And then come out of school, and everybody can believe any wants to, but the black and the white gals come out of school hugging right in front of everybody, kissing right in the mouth. That's an abomination inside of God Almighty. Take it home and set on it. Amen. I believe, bless God, we ought to, if we're a uh, 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 God's people we ought to look after what God give us and praise Him for it. Amen. Say amen or oh me, I like you anyhow. They shall thy light break forth as the morning, and thy health and shall spring forth specially, and thy righteousness shall go before thee. The glory of the Lord shall be thy reward. And I will say right there, I met a boy and a girl the other day, and they said when I was up at Dennis Tinsley, I said, every time Preacher Michael preaches, he preaches on adultery. I said, are you still committed? Uh -huh. No, we ask God to forgive us. I said, if God forgive you, keep your mouth shut when I preach it because it's in the book. Ooh, I know when you give me amen there, but I can preach it anyhow. Is that what it said? What is forgiven is forgiven. Amen. If you ain't been forgiven, you're going to bellyache about what's preached. Amen. <laughs> God didn't call me to be an instant Pepsi Cola. He called me to be an instant man of God. Amen. Amen. And the Bible said, And if thou draw out thy soul to the hungry, satisfy the afflicted soul, then shall thy light us rise in absurdity, and thy darkness be as the noonday. And the Lord shall guide thee continually and satisfy thy soul and draw. That they draw the ground and make fat thy bones. And thou shalt be like a watered garden and life is spring of water whose waters fall out. Uh, just fell not. Just talking about now Louise used to be real skinny. And I was a whole lot little name. And then he says to the children one day, he said, any old dog likes a bone wants a little meat on <coughs> Well, the last time we seen Dennis, so when she come up to him and said, Dennis, what do you think? This old dog got a lot of meat on the bone now. <laughs> Dennis didn't know what to say. Amen. But it don't make no difference. You say, well, preacher, you throwing off on my fat? No, I'm not. Eat what you want to eat. Get as big as you want to get. That ought to make more God of you than somebody bone and make you. The more fat you get, the better you ought to praise God. Because he's good to you. You're not in the hospital every day. You're not in the doctor's office every day. Amen. Miss Luther, we raise our hand and praise the Lord. Amen. It don't matter what the world likes it or not. But be, be what we're going to be for God. Amen. 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 And they that shall be of these shall be.
Build the old waste places. Thou shalt rise up the foundations of any generation, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the retriever store of path to dwell in. God will make a path for you to dwell in. Yep. Hey. He'll give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. They, I don't know where anybody ever sees it or not. I don't care for his preaching and I don't watch it. Q team, Queen team, what's his name? You know what I'm talking about? Holstein. Did you see him yesterday on television? He and his wife was on there and it looked like two more pups. Somebody robbed his church Sunday. Did you see that lady? Yeah. Took checks and everything, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Louis said, well, you wonder who done that. I said, I don't know. There's thousands of people there. Somebody Joel, I was thinking. Yeah. They lasted at six thousand some dollars or something. But you know what? I'd be ashamed to take our dime out of this church and dishonest. Amen. Amen. I'd be ashamed of it. Amen. Shame on you. If you don't tithe, you're robbing God. <coughs> you're going to be cursed with a curse. Yep. That's good. Last, over the last chapter of leaving Malachi, somewhere along there, a lot of people say, well, I was out sick for a month and I had to use my tithes. I'll tell you, you wouldn't have been sick for a month if you had tithed. He would have blessed you. Amen. But I ain't telling what the people do. I didn't tell you if you didn't tithe. You know it when I say it. <laughs> Amen. Well, preacher, it ain't none of your business. I never said it. You ain't never had me heard me get up here and ask you where you put your money in church or not. It's between you and God. But I say this little church does great under the spirit and power of God. Amen. <laughs> Amen, brother. Let's come and pray and have a good week. Amen.